When I was actually in junior high and high school, I became interested in medicine. Heaven knows what I was watching on TV at that time. That led me to, to think about it. But for me, when I would study in school and everything, that it was those the scientific approach, seeing a problem, identifying it, and trying to learn about it, understand it, and eventually solve it that really drove me into this field. And having that human connection is what especially brought me into medicine. You know, coming from that, that basic science background, I found that it was highly motivating to, to work on what drives cancer. But being able to actually see how we can intervene upon it and help patients is, is what took me to med school. In going through cancer with a patient, we all have our roles that we play. And my conceptualization of, of how those roles play out is that the patient themselves are the captain. They are in charge, they make the decisions. My role as the oncologist is to be the co-pilot, as well as the translator and the navigator. So. I have to translate all the technical medical information and all the data from all the studies to help distill what treatments and why we're offering them to anyone. And then help navigate through the decision process that they ultimately make. And then I'm also the cheerleader to help everyone get through that. And so I think in seeing my role as being kind of the accessory to the patient, it creates, um, from my standpoint, you'll have to ask my patients if they feel the same, but a, a very deep bond. In recognition of the rising rates of cancers in younger adults, we here at Siteman have developed a multidisciplinary program to focus on the unique needs of these patients. We uh, have established the Young Adult Colorectal Cancer Program, of which I'm the medical oncology director. And what that is, is a recognition really of the fact that rates of, of people under the traditional colonoscopy age, which up until more recently was age 50, now it's age 45, but that people younger that, than that age have been getting colon and rectal cancer at increasing rates. And what we started seeing with Generation X was that they were getting it at the, you know, between the ages of 18 and 49. And then with millennials, that rate is actually accelerating and we're even now seeing it in, in more contemporaneous generations as well. So in recognition of that alarming trend, we have created this program to deal with the unique challenges that these patients in this age range will face. Unlike patients who have standard age onset cancer, of what we think of as traditionally 50 and older, more likely in our 20s, 30s, and 40s to have full-time jobs. We're not retired. We have kids. We might be in the sandwich generation where we're taking care of aging parents as well as young children. And on top of that, there you don't have a lot of friends who have had serious health issues. And so you don't have that social support as well that one might have at, at a later age where it's you're more likely to run into people with colorectal cancer. So with this program, we've created a multidisciplinary approach, not just with my colorectal surgery colleagues and my radiation oncology colleagues, but across the board, uh, including palliative care, including reproductive uh, endocrinology and fertility, including genetic counseling, because even though this trend does not appear to be genetically driven, we are more likely to see people who have inherited causes for developing cancer at these ages. We make sure there are resources available from our Siteman social work team who are specifically able to direct patients towards resources that are more relevant to them at these ages. So anytime we do have a patient where it's early stage and we've been able to treat it with whatever means is most appropriate for that patient, it feels like an absolute celebration to to find that they can move on with their life
past cancer and hopefully get rid of us oncologists who will be following along for a while. 